into this and they couldn't read their own parties. And not only could they not read their own parties, but they now have lost their chief attack, which is we get things done and you don't. Of course, the, the, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact the main question here is people being gassed. Well, that, um, that is a terrible thing that's happened and we've rendered ourselves impotent, haven't we? If the Prime Minister were here right now, he would be saying that and he had were we two hours ago, would also be saying that he believed in the fullness of time enough evidence would come forward that Ed Miliband would be seen to be on the wrong side of this argument. But enough people have spoken in the Commons to mean that, and it's an argument we've heard all day, that there are too many other things going on in people's lives right now that this is a, a, a problem that we want to intervene in. It's the truly tragic legacy in that sense of Iraq when there was all this debate about possible use of chemical weapons. In this circumstance, there is this absence of, of will and collective will. And, of course, this applies in the U.S. as well. I mean, reports tonight uh, from uh, pretty good Syrian resistance sources that uh, the Syrian army is moving Scud missiles into dispersal sites out of, its, out of its barracks. It's already beginning to disperse the targets. Now, if you ask yourself a question, well, why have the Americans gone through such a slow and deliberate process? It's also because President Obama doesn't feel the confidence to have responded immediately to the crossing of these red lines at some point in the last six months. Okay, thank you both very much. Quickly, very quickly. Well,